We have a rich history in Murfreesboro City Schools that's built on a foundation of excellence. And as we began to look toward the future and plan for our great district, we wanted to make sure we didn't forget about the past. So one way we wanted to do that was establishing a Murfreesboro City School Hall of Fame, a chance for us to pause every year to look back and honor those who helped build this great system. So first, I will start with our first honoree, which is Miss Ruth Bowden. It is often said that in the mid-60s, Miss Ruth Bowden saw the handwriting on the wall and the need to do something dramatic to improve the child's self-concept and learning abilities. She began preparing materials that would involve the parent at home with the child. Ruth began the Classroom on Wheels, a program for at-risk preschoolers and their parents to come together on location to share the learning experience. Bowden was honored for her insight by President Bill Clinton and was the first inductee in the Tennessee Teacher Hall of Fame. Miss Emma G. Rogers Roberts, Principal. Miss Roberts was the first African American educator named to the Tennessee Teachers Hall of Fame in 1995. She served with distinction and provided leadership as principal of Bradley Academy from 1955 to 1972. Not only did Ms. Roberts lead the way as the city transitioned from being segregated to being integrated, but she had also served as the principal of one of the first middle schools in the city. Helen Margaret Salisbury, Supervisor of Instruction. Ms. Salisbury was known for her support of teachers and her desire for them to not just be good teachers, but stellar individuals. Salisbury is a recipient of the Catherine Wright Educator Supervisor Award, Bethel College Distinguished Service Award, and named an Outstanding Educator by the Academy of American Educators. Dr. Dolores D. Doyle as principal. Doyle served in Murfreesboro City Schools from 1972 to 2000 as a classroom teacher and later as a welcoming and inclusive principal at Reese Rogers. Doyle was recognized for her classroom contributions as the 1992 Tennessee Teacher of the Year and was inducted into the Tennessee Teacher Hall of Fame in 2001. She was honored with the Albert Nelson Marquis Lifetime Achievement Award, recognizing individuals who have demonstrated leadership, excellence, and longevity within their respective industries and professions in 2020. Our next honoree is Mr. Baxter Hobgood, Superintendent. As Superintendent, uh, Hobgood sought progressive improvements in public education, including the integration of schools. He was known to be a proactive in our communication among staff, students, and parents. He served his community in many roles, including MTSU alumni president early in his career, and 40 years later served on the executive committee to develop Cannonsburg. Today, future, future teachers can apply for the Baxter E. Hobgood Scholarship at MTSU. Mary Scales. She began her teaching career at Bradley during desegregation. Although known for many achievements, she considered her role in desegregating schools, ensuring all students received a quality education as one of her greatest actions. Being the first African-American faculty member hired at MTSU, and later serving as a member of the Murfreesboro City Council. Scales is a member of the Tennessee Teachers Hall of Fame, was named Citizen of the Year by Bradley Academy Historical Society, received the NAACP President's Freedom Award, and named a Woman of Courage by Essence Magazine. Dr. John Hodge Jones, former superintendent. Dr. John Hodge Jones was not only our superintendent, but from a teacher to the deputy commissioner of the Tennessee Department of Education. Dr. Jones has been a strong advocate and leader in education for over 30 years of that service being here at Chris Purple City School. His accomplishments include the development of our ESP program for working parents and the opening of Case and Lane at the Padilla School. Jones served as the chair of the National Education Commission on Time and Learning and was chosen as the Tennessee Superintendent of the Year. Ms. Mary Catherine Simpson, cafeteria manager, and the students, staff, and families of Reeves Rogers were blessed for over 30 years as she served as the cafeteria manager and gourmet chef. 
Her holiday feasts were made from scratch. Every day was made from scratch and fed nearly 1,000 students and families annually. Ms. Simpson shared her love of cooking and her compassion for others by delivering home-cooked meals and homemade pies to families in need during times of celebration and in grief. Our next honoree is Ms. Mary Wade, former school board chair. As the first African-American elected school board member in Murfreesboro, Wade made history with her impactful contributions to public education. Ms. Wade was elected to board chair for five consecutive years and earned the Master School Board Level 5 des designation in 2009. Ms. Wade used her talents to serve locally on the Rutherford County Chamber of Commerce BEP Board, MTSU's Access and Diversity Board, and served as a board member of the Tennessee School Board Association. Our final inductee is Ms. Bertha Snowden, principal. As principal of Mitchell Nelson, Snowden was admired by teachers, colleagues, students, and parents. A voice for all children, Snowden was one of the leading advocates for inclusion with students with special needs. Snowden was known for her leadership and inspiration in mentoring new teachers and was considered the heart of her school. Under her leadership, Mitchell Nelson Primary was expanded to include a new gymnasium and classrooms. As excited as we are to honor this inaugural class of members to our Murfreesboro City Schools Hall of Fame, we're equally excited about the great people who will be added in the future. So be on the lookout late next spring and early next summer for nomination forms so you can make sure your favorite Murfreesboro City School employees are nominated for this incredible honor.